What's up productivity junkies? Darren Persinger here. Yesterday I talked about stop asking for referrals, start asking for recommendations and today I want to share with you some ways that you can get more recommendations or if you prefer to use the word referrals, I'm not going to beat you up over it. How to get more of those from your sphere of influence. Okay. What I want you to look at first is that question of who do you know who is very limited. Hey, who do you know who that's uh, looking to buy real estate in the next 90 days? That probably is the wrong question to place in the head of your sphere of influence. And what we're looking for here is better trigger words or phrases. I hate that question, by the way, of who do you know who. I absolutely hate it. And I will link up a blog post that I wrote about making deposits versus withdrawals and the best way to do that. Um, but going back to this now, how to get more recommendations, more referrals from your sphere of influence. What I want you to start looking at and coaching and training your sphere of influence on is better trigger phrases, better trigger words that people around them are using that might have a real estate need. And what I mean by that is let's take a look at a different industry, for example. Let's say um, I'm in the catering business. The words and phrases, the trigger words and phrases that I want to teach my sphere of influence are, hey, if you guys hear anyone that is throwing a party anytime soon, if someone's having a baptism, if someone's having a birthday, let me know about it or recommend me to them. That would be great. I really appreciate that. Instead of probably what we do on real estate, if we were a caterer, we'd say, hey, if you know anyone that needs someone to cater their birthday if anyone has a catering need coming up people don't talk like that people don't go around and say hey I'm thinking about buying a home maybe they might but what you want to do is cast that net a little bit wider so trigger words and phrases and think about these for yourself but I'll just throw a few out of like maybe it's our lease is up at the end of the month that might be a trigger word um, my wife just got a new job. That might be a trigger phrase. Uh, what else could there be? Um, we're having a new baby, right? You know, uh, my wife is pregnant. We're going to have a new baby. Maybe that's a trigger phrase that they want to go buy a bigger home now. So these words and phrases are things that you should be coaching and training your sphere of influence on. So when they hear that, they know to recommend you.